After a period of silence, AR glasses have become popular again, the related technologies have become more mature, and the overall experience has been significantly improved compared to the past. Recently, as the world's first consumer-grade AR glasses brand, Unreal officially released Unreal Air, which is customized for the consumer-grade market. The style of this product is similar to that of ordinary sunglasses. Equipped with the industry-leading Jingong Ring Optical Engine 2.0, it can present a 201-inch AR shark color sky in front of the eyes, and with a 3-degree panoramic AR space, you can experience an unprecedented new and unique AR experience. At the same time, the product can also be connected to various devices such as phones, tablets, notebooks, handhelds, game consoles, etc., to achieve a screen projection of up to 130 inches in the air, with low blue light, no flicker, and eye comfort. Under the blessing of authoritative certification, long-term investment is not tiring, and it has exceeded expectations in terms of quality, safety and visual health protection. As they are glasses that need to be placed on the bridge of the nose for a long time, the comfort of wearing them is naturally the focus of our consideration, and Enreal Air's performance in this regard is very good. Enreal Air is made of aviation-grade aluminum alloy material, which ensures high strength and weighs only 79 grams, which will not bring too much burden to the ears and bridge of the nose. The shape is similar to ordinary sunglasses. The product's temple shaft supports three-speed adjustment, has a large elastic range of 40 degrees, can adapt to all kinds of people with a head width of 120 to 186 millimeters, and the clamping force is just right. Whether children or adults can choose the most suitable wearing position appropriate and comfortable gear. And Real Air comes with three sizes of nose pads in the package, which can be replaced at any time, according to to the actual situation of the user, and the disassembly is very convenient. For students with myopia or astigmatism, it is very difficult to see the contents of the Unreal Air screen normally. You need to go to the optical store in advance and customize the lenses that suit you according to the size of the myopia frame that comes with it. The myopia frame and nose pads can be two-in-one, and then fastened to the Unreal Air. The two temples of Enreal Air are wider and thicker in the middle, because a set of Neri Rope and stereo dual speakers are inserted into the interior, which emits sound directly to the ear. You can adjust the volume through the buttons on the right temple. Personally, the volume is still quite loud. Yes, the bass and immersion are very good, and the sound can only be heard by yourself, and will not affect your family and friends around you. The rear of the left temple of the Unreal Air is equipped with the USB Type-C video input interface. The included double-ended USB Type-C cable is made of soft braided wire, which is not easy to get knotted. The end of the glasses also adopts a special 140 degrees elbow appearance. It is convenient to use without feeling after connecting the end of the temple. As we mentioned earlier, Unreal Air is an optical see-through AR glasses, and its display body is a Sony Micro OLED screen made of micro lens technology, with a resolution of up to 3840 by 1080 pixels, 3D, 2D 1080p. The three core indicators have reached the top level in the industry. In addition, 108% sRGB color gamut, 400 nits eye entry brightness, 100,000 by 1 ultra high contrast ratio, somatosensory delay 1 millisecond, and superimposed SDR, laying a solid foundation for spatial retina level display. It should be noted that the Sony Micro OLED screen of the Unreal Air is not facing the eyeball, but is located top down. The product is equipped with the Jingong Ring Optical Engine 2.0 display architecture. During the optical transmission process of the displayed miniature image, the deflection of the light direction, and the regulation of the light wave state by each element in the optical display architecture, realizes the clarity of the image source, high contrast, low distortion rendering, bringing realistic AR visual experience. If you want to use your phone to take a picture of what is currently displayed in the Unreal Air lens, you need to aim the phone camera at the center of the inner lens of the optical glasses, which is a bit difficult, but it is not at all. Affecting the scenery in front of you the 201-inch AR giant screen is an immersive vision of an indescribable super shock. The reason why Unreal Air is not prone to dizziness and discomfort is also strongly related to its relatively lightweight appearance. There are no components such as lithium batteries in the product, and it is essentially a glasses-style display, which requires a USB Type-C cable to use. Taking power from phones, tablets, notebooks, switch and other devices, this little tail limits its mobility to a certain extent, and when it is connected to a computer, it will tie us to the ground in front of the computer desk. When using Unreal Air, try to avoid facing the light source, otherwise it will affect the display effect. It is recommended to use it against a solid color wall in a relatively dim environment, or put a HUD on the glasses to obtain a pure and flawless vision. The hardware itself of Unreal Air is a binocular display used as AR glasses. Through the USB Type-C interface at the end of the temple, it can be used as an external screen for most digital devices that support DP video output, such as Surface 2 and 1 tablet, smartphones that support video output, such as Switch game consoles, MacBook notebooks, Intel NUC mini computers, and Oppo Find 5 Pro can all achieve 130-inch ultra-clear aerial projection. For example, the author has a Surface Go that has been idle for a long time at home. Although the 10.1-inch screen is light and poor 
portable. It has a poor experience when writing for a long time and watching online drama videos. Since I don't have an extra monitor at home, I have to put it on hold for a large screen laptop. But then real air, connected to Surface Go, and a huge screen equivalent to 130 inches can appear in front of you in an instant. You can adjust the brightness through the buttons on the temples, and you can get a good display state without adjusting to the brightest. Personally, I am very much looking forward to using the Office Suite composed of Real Air and NUC, which can maximize the desktop space, and can work and play at any time where there is electricity. It should be noted that in order to prevent the ambient light and the scene in front of the Real Air, from affecting the display of the Unreal Air, it is necessary to put a shading sheet on the glasses. At this time, our touch typing technology when using the keyboard is very tested, and the blind typing level is not good enough. For children's shoes, it is best to remove the shading sheet, but it's the same problem as before. To maintain the best display quality, you need to use the shading sheet. At this time, we need to blind the phone. Basic operations such as sliding interface and page turning are no problem, but it requires precision. Click, such as running an app, and selecting a specific setting, the skill button in the mobile game, is difficult to click. Therefore, the best application scenarios of phones in Unreal Air, are watching videos in comics, or playing some games that can be controlled by Bluetooth controllers, such as PSP emulators. In addition, if you want to drive Unreal Air like iPhone and Switch, you need to use Unreal Adapter. The official said that in the future, the firmware will be upgraded to make Unreal Air adapt to PS and Xbox game consoles. At this time, our phone will also become a remote control, and a virtual operation window similar to a touchpad, will appear on the screen, which can perform various gesture operations. Unreal has developed many applications for the AR space, and has also adapted with many popular apps. To run, you need to download and install the app on the phone. The apps that are deeply adapted to Unreal, also provide advanced operation buttons, such as taking pictures, recording screens, and resetting the viewing angle, while the apps that are generally adapted only have the basic function buttons of the virtual touchpad. Compared with traditional applications, our version applications can add richer display content and interactive functions. Take watching a game through Mobile Cloud VR as an example. You can feel the multi-screen space watching experience with Panoramic View anytime, anywhere. Game status, background screen, player and team data and tactics are displayed on multiple screens, so you can see it all at a glance. In general, Unreal Air is a consumer-grade AR weapon disguised as sunglasses. When you go out, you can wear it without fear of dazzling sunlight. After connecting with other digital devices through a data cable, it can bring a shocking skyscape beyond the cinema. Notebooks and PCs can use a larger field of view to improve office efficiency. Paired with handhelds can bring a more immersive gaming experience. And paired with phones and Unreal apps can enter a more interesting three-dimensional panoramic AR space to further enhance the interactive experience. The biggest inconvenience of using Unreal Air is that it will be trapped in the small tail of the data cable. However, if a wireless module and the lithium battery are added to the Unreal Air, it will further increase the burden on the ears and bridge of the nose. I hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon.